Hi guys, I'm Darren and today we're going to be flashing the latest version of EFOS to our transmitters. So in this video, I'm going to take my X20S and I'm going to flash the latest version of EFOS to it. I'm going to go through the process of uh, enabling the bootloader mode, plugging the USB in, downloading the firmware, and um, getting it all updated. So pretty much everything that you need to get your transmitter updated to the latest version. But what we're gonna do first is go to the bench and have a look and see what's on our transmitter already. Okay, so we're here at the workbench with our X20S and what we're gonna do, we're just gonna power it on and we just need to check the version number. So we're heading into system and information and it's the second line down here that we're interested in. And what we need to take note of is the first number, which is 1.0.6. And in the uh, region, so in this case, it's EU, you may have FCC or you may have flex. Um, in the future, there could possibly be an EU flex version, because at the moment, the flex binds to 2.4 to uh, FCC, whereas ideally we want a version of flex where the 2.4 is set to EU, but at the moment that's not there. I'll go over why we want this version number a little bit later on when we get to the desktop. But first, what I'm going to do is back out of here and I'm going to switch the radio off because we want to put it in bootloader mode so that we can connect up our USB. So to do that, it's really simple. You just hold down this enter button and then just click the power button. You don't need to hold it down. It's just a simple click. And then what I'm going to do is plug my uh, USB in the back and then head over to the computer desktop and I'll see you there shortly. Okay, so I've left the transmitter on the bench, but at the moment, as you can see here, it's not plugged in. Um, what I will do is I'll briefly go back over to the bench when I plug it in so you can see how the screen changes, but at the moment there's really not much to do over there. So what we're gonna do is go to the GitHub repository for the EFOS feedback community. And this is where we can download our firmware. So on this uh, right hand side of the screen here, we can see releases and the latest release is 1.0.7, which was released uh, yesterday. So I'm just gonna pop into releases and I'm, I'm clicking on that rather than 1.0.7 for a very special reason. So what you can see here are the files and obviously we need to download the correct files for our transmitter. But you notice there's only uh, EU, FCC and Flex zip files. So what that means is on this particular update, there was no need to change any of the files on the SD card or uh, on the internal flash memory. So this is just a firmware update. However, on past releases, if I go down to 1.0.6, if I open up the assets, you'll see that there are also these SD and flash zip files. Um, so if you've got an older version, like say you're on 1.0.4, what you're gonna have to do is find the most recent version of these SD and flash files because you will also need to put those on your transmitter. So what I'm gonna do is download uh, what we need for this transmitter here. So we're on uh, EU at the moment. So I'm going to download the EU firmware and I'll put it on my desktop. And I'm also going to download the SD and the flash. I already have them on this radio, but I'm going to show you how to install them anyway. All right, so we're all downloaded. We don't need uh, the GitHub anymore. Of course, I'll leave a link in the description so you can get to this easily. But what we're going to do is just open up those files. So I've just moved the files onto the desktop, but what I'm going to do now is plug in the transmitter. And now if I flip back to the transmitter, you'll notice that the screen now says USB plugged. So that means we're all connected to the computer. Everything's great. So now we can actually get on and update. So what we need to do is open Windows Explorer. And I'm going to drag that over to this side. And if we go to this PC, you'll see that there are a couple of USB drives. So we have two here that are both on that transmitter. So the first one, H, you'll notice is less than eight megabytes in space. This is the onboard flash. And then you'll see this one here, which is a four gig SD card, which is the SD card. 
So what we need to do is find the flash zip file. And everything in here we need to put onto this uh, under eight megabyte drive. So you just drag that in, copy, and that's it. It will update. So I'm going to skip them because as I say, I've already got this update on the transmitter. So the files are basically the same. Uh, and then we have this drive I here, which is the SD card. So that will be the SD zip file. So open that up, copy those across, same. Again, I'm going to skip because I already have these files on here. In fact, I'm just going to cancel that. Um, but you just let it go through and that will get the latest flash and SD files on there. Now to do the actual firmware update itself, we just need to open this up. We'll make sure again, it should be X20S or X20, whichever transmitter you have, it should be the correct firmware. And then we're just going to drag this firmware.bin file into the root of the SD card. So again, that is the one that is around four gigabytes. Once that's there, everything on the computer is done. We can shut these windows down. And what I'm going to do is head back to the bench. And as soon as I unplug the USB cable, you'll see it starts writing the firmware onto the transmitter. So we'll just let this carry on and I'll be back shortly. There we go. The firmware has finished flashing and you can see we're just back at the bootloader page. So all we need to do is just click the power button that switches the transmitter off. Like I say, it's bootloader is just single clicks, but to power the transmitter back on, hold it in and we get our boot screen. We get our warning and we are now at 1.0.7. So there you go, guys. That is how to update the firmware on your X20, X20S, X20 HD. Possibly will be the same on the X24 when that comes out. But I hope you guys found it useful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. And please remember to subscribe. It will help get this video out to more people so they can update their transmitters too. Thank you, guys. See you on the next one. Bye.